Like God is the God of your suffering. God is the God of your pain. He is the God that is above your pain, above your suffering, above whatever. God is the God of everything. And by God being the God of everything, it means that he is the, also the God of healing. He's also the God of your suffering. He's also the God of your trauma. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the way. So, if you can tell by today's title, we're going to talk about something interesting on Holy Perspective. And I'm really taking the series very serious this year. So, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Holy Perspective. So, uh, first things first, I think it's very important that I disclose that I have been going through um, my own healing process. So I remember the first time I ever had of healing was obviously in prayer and like I was being prayed for and I noticed that like a lot of things would get me very emotional. So healing was one of the things that like came to my heart and it was just like you need to heal and I'm like from what? And then <laughs> after asking that question and <laughs> I noticed there was so much trauma, so much um, anxiety and all these other stuff that w was like hindering my life and the enemy was using them as leeway to get to me so i'm going to specify what i mean by using it as leeway to get to me because like the enemy doesn't like necessarily use things that are not there so he would use like obviously all these traumatic things that i went through or have been through to sort of remind me of what my life used to be like and how i used to be and all these things so the biggest part that like the lord kept on pressing on me last year in december was to look into healing and like not necessarily just look into it because I've prayed multiple prayers, I've done fasting, I've done multiple things to heal from a lot of things but like there's still like this big gap of pain that I'm still trying to navigate and I was like it would be a good idea to share that experience and to share that with you guys so that's why I'm here with my first revelation on healing. So the very first thing is that God is the God of everything. And by God being the God of everything, it means that he is the, also the God of healing. He's also the God of your suffering. He's also the God of your trauma. I think like it's a very difficult thing to accept the fact that God was there when you had a, a traumatic experience, that God was there when people were abusing you or they were harassing you. A lot of people go through different forms of trauma. Obviously, I'm not going to disclose what my trauma is at the moment. I'm not comfortable with sharing that. But what I will say is that God was there. He was watching and he's a God of vengeance. Like he's a not yeah, he's a God of like God is our avenger. Like he fights for us and not the other way around. All we have to do is pray for our enemies and pray for those that persecute us. So like my deepest desire with this video if you take out something is that God was there with you like God is the God of your suffering God is the God of your pain he is the God that is above your pain above your suffering above whatever happened to you and it's very important that you notice that and you make that big um, connection that God was there and God will continue to be there even when you don't see him move even when you don't see him like when you look back and you're just like why did that happen because when I look back at my life and I'm just like why were certain things like the way they were and I notice how if those things were not the way they were my relationship with God wouldn't be the way it is like if I explain how I got to where I am with God you would literally laugh because most of them like most of the reasons why I got closer to God is because I lost reliability on people so the main reason why God was now drawing me towards like actually actively involving myself in a process of healing I, I know you've heard this before like healing is a process but it's a very lengthy process that nobody wants to talk about but like it's like a very long process because i just thought you know a year would be enough to heal from everything but no child there's just a lot that you need to go through and some stuff that you might actually have forgotten because for me personally i built up defense mechanisms to avoid talking about my trauma to avoid dealing with my trauma so like i would laugh about everything like laugh and chill and be like oh oh cool oh that happened ha 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 and even when i say certain testimonies to other people it's kind of traumatic and i'm just like oh i'm sorry to me that is something i've i've like diminished my feelings and just like made them so small to a point that i actually cannot even like 
recognize them as emotions so that's also one thing that like the lord has just been pushing and just saying you need to experience feelings you need to experience emotions don't just um dismiss them because i'm very dismissive of like sad emotions miserable emotions and that's why i have outbursts of anger outbursts of tears and all this other stuff these are things that obviously used to like be a big thing but with uh, like the more time i spent with the lord the more i started praying and being more honest and vulnerable in my prayers oh my god like the biggest shift happened when I was more vulnerable in my prayers. Like the more vulnerable I was, it was like God was like, listen, I'm going to be there for you and I'm going to show you how you can do this. And like I would literally feel his comfort when I cry and like sob, like sob in pain. Like I literally feel him saying, no, it's fine. You know, like he allows me to have that space. And I think that's something that we all need. And when we come to the Lord, that's exactly what he does. And it's funny because like, there's multiple things that happen at my church and I'm so grateful for the courses that we get to do at church because like I remember there are certain courses where like after that you have an encounter so encounter days I'm pretty sure I've spoken about them last year like encounter days are like one of the biggest days at my church and like the main reason they're big is because like you get to like you know encounter God or whatever so one of the most like the biggest most impactful encounters that made me realize that I had a very big gap in my heart that need, that I really need to actually get to the root cause of it because if I, if I just deal with the surface pain I will not necessarily realize that it's cancer and it's burning all over my body so that's why i was like you know what i'm gonna face this thing head on if you want to fight we're gonna have a fight you know so that's why i was like you know i'm gonna put on my full armor show up so this one time i was like they hugged me and i really felt i felt yo yo see those type of things so like this is literally what holy perspective is going to look like a lot more sit downs going to have some of my friends some of the people that i've i've spoken to like some of the leaders the people i look up to i'll try and get people so we can come and communicate things with you but this one is called god is a god of healing and he's a god of suffering and yeah and he sent his son like god does he's not a stranger to our misery like he's not a stranger to our pain and i think that's like the most comforting like comforting thing to find out and i think that's also why i resonate so much with david because <laughs> yeah most of his psalms are some like there's some there there sometimes my prayers go like that my prayers are just like oh my god god this is so painful and then i'm just like but you're still good you're still the holy god you know and all those things i'm sitting on a spinny chair that's why i keep spinning and yeah i know i look different because that's the hair i straighten my hair by the way with heat so i don't know if it's going to come back to my normal afro volume but i hope it does because i actually kind of miss that hair but anyway that's all i wanted to share i know i did not share scripture but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like insert some certain scriptures because i feel like i say scripture without actually saying where the scripture is found so i'll just insert those scriptures there so that you can see them and yeah that's just basically today's video and if you guys have any questions any resources stuff that you can recommend i know that i'm currently like going through well i'm not ready to disclose that yet but like when i'm ready to talk about it i'll tell you guys all the books i'm reading and obviously the content and resources i'm using because i'm obviously not going to do this by myself <laughs> child it's a it's a very messy um process but i'm going to do it with people that i trust and i love and i know that they're going to take care of me and they're going to you know guide me in the right direction and i'm gonna speak to the right people and yeah and firstly a big round of applause to me because i have not cried throughout this episode i really thought i was gonna be busting into tears and by the way i want to start a podcast so yeah let me let, let me know in the comment section if you guys would be keen on listening to this voice instead of seeing this face <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have like a two-way podcast where like I would shoot the, post the podcast videos and also have like sound for the podcast and then have it also available on YouTube. I don't know. I'll see. But like it's something I've been like leaning towards because the Bible app is kind of cool. I'm going to talk about the Bible app in the next um, Holy Perspective video. But outside of that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media platforms at Lynn Way. And that is on Instagram, Lynn underscore Way. On TikTok, Lynn underscore Way. And also, obviously, here, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.